Hey guys, this is Doc again. Um, just doing a follow-up, uh, another follow-up video. Um, <clears throat> so I uh, I read something this past uh, this past week, which kind of made me a little perplexed a little bit, uh, and so I thought I'd talk a little about that. Um, that um, that thing is really talking about free will, free will, if you would. Um, and that the whole premise of the free will concept was not new to me, but I've always had my own sort of views about um, about free will in terms of what I've read, what I've learned, what I've understood myself. Um, but it, it brought me back to this to this point where I, I learned a couple of years ago. Um, it's something actually in the Bible, but then scientists have sort of proved it uh, along the way as well. Um, it, it's it's talking about the fact that. Um, we have fewer grains of sand on Earth than there are suns, S-U-N-S, in the known universe. Um, one of those suns is our own sun around our uh, system. And on that, around that sun, we have planets. Um, and Earth is about... They say it's about a hundred times smaller than, uh, for example, our our sun. But our Earth has on it specks, if you would, of people. Um, and those specks of people on one of those planets around one of those grains of sand. Again, there are fewer grains of sand on Earth that, than there are suns in our universe but one of those specks of people in one of those planets then makes decisions and determination if you would about how another grain of sand functions somewhere else in in our universe a grain of sand that we can't truly see touch hear feel we know nothing about it yet. We are saying, but we're making claims, and, and not. There's nothing wrong with questioning things, right? There's nothing wrong with you having your kind of views and thoughts about stuff and how th how things work. But you're making not just questions or uh, thoughts. You're making factual statements about how some other grain of sand functions, works, and you know definitively how it works. Which, again, I have a little, a little problem with. <clears throat> People are saying things, for example, um, there is no free will. Again, one of the specs is saying that there is no free will essentially anywhere in this known or unknown um, universe. Which, I was kind of surprised to hear how they came to the claim of there is no free will. One of the thought was that because we have no part of the design in our cells, cells, in our structure, in our brain, in our body, in the universe, uh, I'm sorry, in our environment, um, because we have no part in that then any decision we make, essentially from us sort of being put together, again, not choosing our brain, not choosing our, 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 our thoughts, not choosing our mind, our hearts, not choosing any of that because it was determined for us, i.e. created, um, we were created from that standpoint, that we have no choice or no free will in how our life plays out, which I was surprised that no one on the panel said, well, we don't know that. How do you know that I was not a part of selecting my cells, my brain, my body, my thought, my environment? How do you know that definitively? How do you know that I was not a part of that discussion? Which brings me to my point in that I do believe that. I do believe that 
um, I had some decision. Again, it's a part of this, this free will spectrum in that you either take it as it is um, and try to understand it or, or not, right? But you cannot make the assumption or the assertion that because, quote, I had no choice and no part of who I am, uh, I created no, or it was in, 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 in none of my creation, if you would, that I can't make decisions about the life that I live and where I live and how I live, and that I have no free will. I, 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 I do not, I, I reject that sort, of, that sort of thought. Now, I think sometimes people try to separate things like consequence and choice and free will as sort of all individualized separate entities, and again, which... Again, I, I, I don't believe that to be true as well. I think what really happens is um, we make choices. We, 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 make, we have the capacity to choose what um, we do. And what that really means, though, is that when you're faced with an issue, you have immeasurable amount of options and choices from which to choose from now. What that then means is that when you select one of those avenues to go down, one of those paths to go down, then you sort of close off, close off all the other options and choices you had from something else, about something else, right? You can't go and unselect something that you've selected already. Now, once you've made that selection, then a brand new list of things uh, are open to you to include consequences, other choices, other things in this new realm, if you would, because of a choice or decision or a selection that you made. Now, fast forward to 10 years from now, I then make another choice about something else. Now, that new choice that I'm making now is a culmination of all the other choices I've made in the past that helps me now create or make this new selection 10 years from uh, from before or after, I now have to make another choice, but the choice I'm making now today is in regards to thousands of other choices I've made in the past. Again, when I choose something, I close off the millions of other possibilities, right? I, I've selected something, but in that selection, I've opened up now another infinite amount of possibilities and choices. But as I go on and I make a new choice, I make a new selection, I close off other choices, I open new selections, if you would, um, and that's where we, that, that's how we, that's how we progress and get to somewhere. Now, um, you can't unchoose something that you've chosen. Now, if, if that is the point that you, people are trying to make, that you can't, that's not true, if you will. It's choosing something, right, then deselects all the other options, all the other choices that you could have made, right? So if I were to drop a bowling ball, for example, on my toe and it hurts, I can't undrop that ball, right? It's, it's just, I've done something um, that I cannot undo, which I think is a, is, is a, is a problem with people who are uh, saying that you don't have um, free will because they can't undo something that they've, that they've done. And I'm, that, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry that that's how they see it, but we are still a part of this system and the system, there are rules and laws that you cannot essentially, you can't, you can't undo or you can't, you can't do something that's against the natural laws. For example, I cannot jump from the earth and fly like Superman. I can't, that, that's not a, that's not a, uh, it's not a choice that I can make at this level. Um, so, so again, if that is the if that is the um, the sticking point for a lot of people, and that they can't unselect or undo or redo or make another choice or make another option, then that's that that that's it. But again, you can't really separate, right? You can't really separate consequences, choice, and free will because they're all sort of intertwined. And once you once you made the conscious effort to make a selection. There is really no way to go and unselect that choice that you've you, you've made, and it's just it's just a part, it's just a part of the system. So, um, I know my views and concept are a little bit different than a lot of people's views and concept. In that, um, I truly believe that I truly believe that 
free will is not just sort of a local process. It's not something that we can, um, we're, we're, we're saying works today and not work tomorrow or work in sort of this segment or lifetime and not in a former or next lifetime. Because, and again, it's all sort of wrapped into one, one big thing. I do. I think that um, I choose this life that I live for the experiences that I want to gain from my spirit, from my soul to get to the next level. It's just, it's just that, uh, just that simple. Now, I think another issue that may happen to a lot of people may uh, get stuck on is things happen to people all the time. Good things or bad things happen to people all the time. Life is not just about me. It's not just about you. Sometimes we're here predominantly to perhaps help someone else um, in, in something that they need to get to the next level, right? And they're here to help me to get to the next level. So it's not just about me and my life. That's sort of a selfish sort of uh, process, which is this, this is, it's not what this is about. We are here collectively to help each other get to the next uh, level to learn, to grow, um, to essentially self-actualize, right? To be, because our ultimate goal is to be one with the, the prime mover. Um, and we don't do that being selfish. We do that by helping each other uh, go and grow forward and, uh, and and get to the next level. So that's what that's what I'm about. That's my view, my thoughts um, on it. But if if you were to separate them into individual things, um, it's like pouring pouring uh, chocolate into your milk. You can't unpour the chocolate into the milk. Once you pour it and you mix it, it's it's one big milieu of things now, right? So consequence, choices, um, and and free will all wrapped into one. You can't undo them once you've made a selection once you made a choice to do something you can't undo it anyway that's my thought let me know what you think um about my views and uh let me know what your views are as well and we'll uh, sort of learn from each other thanks